Hey all, uh, it's time for another uh, update of uh, the magazine collection, but this time I'm just going to stick to Zeppelin on the cover and, and really just stick to the uh, the covers during their actual active period. I think the earliest one I've got is like 71. So up through uh, 1980 and, and a little bit of spillover after uh, Bottom died. But uh, try, I'll try to go through them in somewhat of a chronological order. This is a beat instrumental from August of 1970. It's the only one I got from 70. Uh, disc and music echo from June of 71. That would be uh, the spring UK dates for that tour. Uh, that's November of 71. Uh, Empire Pool shows. The Electric Magic shows. Also has the uh, Dwayne Allman Obit. Uh, then we kind of skip ahead a little bit to uh, 73. That's uh, September 73, so that would be a wrap on the uh, American tour of 73. That particular, I mean, there's tons of cream magazines that are easy to find. That one, for some reason, is, is a little bit hard to find. Um, Hit Parader from, uh, that's late December, that's December 73, late December back in 73. Uh, Sort of wrap on the tour. Another one, sort of winter of 73, 74, hit prayer. That's sort of like an end of year piece. Um, another 73, fall of 73 before plant had his teeth fixed. <laughs> uh, that's July of 74. Now we get into it. You can see as the, uh, as time goes on, you get a lot more cover 75, 77, up into 79, 80, because the hype around the tours got got bigger. Um, that's uh, June of 75, kind of an odd uh, piece where Jimmy sits down and hangs out with uh, William Burroughs. They're, they're talking sort of hoity-toity, arty-farty stuff, not not particularly interesting, honestly. Uh, another uh, hit parader, January 75, that's sort of uh, previewing the American tour. Uh, another cream. That one is uh, February 75. That would be early dates on the 75 tour. May of 75, great shot of plants. A magazine called Let It Rock. I don't know of any other issue of that one besides the one I've got. Um, June 75, Hit Parader, another uh, 75 tour. This is another 75 tour piece, uh, Circus Magazine. This is one of those things they used to do, I as far as I know, they, they might still do them. But they used to do sort of uh, print up a rock magazine or a magazine about the music scene. And then you could have it uh, done, you have it printed up specifically for your city. So this is the Pittsburgh one. But if you go on eBay and stuff and look around, you could find them from Seattle, from Pittsburgh. They're all the same, but they just get printed up different. That's the uh, Rolling Stone from uh, 75, spring of 75, March, I think it was. Got a couple of those. That's one of my favorites, actually, this one. Uh, Enemy from... Uh, so it's May 24th, 75, so that would be from one of the earlier in the week Earl's Court shows, and that's the right toward the tail end of the Earl's Court shows. Uh, now we're into 76. That's a May of 76. Another one that I like a lot, that cover. Uh, People Magazine from uh, December 76. Another one. Another one. Um, Hit Parader from uh, October 76, that's probably the uh, uh, Song Remains the Same movie, October 76, because the Presents album would have been in the spring, so. Um, that's uh, another uh, 76 plant thing, circus. Uh, this is that French magazine, Rock and Folk, from I think January 77, now we're into 77. Love Jimmy's tartan pants. Uh, that's a 77 circus, June 77. Super Rock from December 77. That's uh, after Robert's son died. So there was all kinds of speculation that they were going to split up on it. Uh, July of 77, that's another 77 tour report. Uh, April 77. April 77. April 77. Uh, Trouser Press 
from September of 77, and this is part one of Jimmy Page interview, which is a great interview. Part two, I have that, but it has uh, Johnny Rotten on the cover, so <laughs> I'm not going to put that one in this deck. Uh, Acid Rock, November 77. Uh, probably the definitive Jimmy Page interview from the Zeppelin period, guitar player from July of 77. That one's in a little bit rough shape. This one's in a little bit better shape. And this one is perfect. I mean, that is just pristine copy. Uh, Hit Parader from November 77. 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 This is one of those uh, rock fan things from late uh, 77. Got a couple of those. Uh, creepy Picture of Plant from September 77. Another one of those. That one I kind of like. Uh, actually, I, I, I like all of the 77. Because the band was when, you know, Jimmy had the white dragon outfit. They, that was when they looked their peak as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let me get rid of these so we can fit some more on here. Whoa. All right. Uh, that's a uh, NME from uh, spring, February of 77. Really cool Skinner story in there. Uh, another one of those fan things from fall of 78. Uh, another 78 sort of all-star rock type magazine. Uh, May of 78, another rock. 78. 78 cream. Another good one. That one is uh, August 4th, 79. So that was on the newsstand the day of the first Nebworth show. That's uh, November 79. Probably one of my favorite Jimmy Page magazine covers, as you can see. Got a few of those. Um, some kind of fan magazine. I don't even really know what it is, but cool picture on the bottom with the sunglasses. That one's from uh, 79. Another 79. More plant from 79. This is some kind of Canadian magazine called New Music. Uh, from October 79, so that would have been a review of the Nedworth shows. Another 79. Another 79. Another 79. This is a, a, just a, an all Zeppelin magazine. I kind of like that one. Cool pictures in there. Uh, this is... Uh, actually, this is before Bottom died. Um, fall of 80 and Cream did a sort of special edition that it was all the cover stories from, from the 70s so they combined them all into one special issue uh, again that French magazine Rocket Folk I like Jimmy's look on the 82 with the, with the red shoes and the green pants <laughs> uh, Hit Parade of Spring of 80 Hit Parade of Spring of 80 January of 80 January of 80, some uh, Mexican magazine from 1980. Uh, now we're into uh, right after Bonham died and there were all kinds of rumors about, uh, you know, black magic and all that nonsense. Um, and then uh, sort of to top it off, we've got uh, tour program 75, the Earl's Court program 77. The odd thing about the 77 program is it's just pictures. There's no text in the entire thing. <laughs> it's a photo book. I do have two more of those and I, I can't find them. Uh, Nebworth 79 program. And then just a bunch of uh, fan magazines. Type it loose, which is a great... He's still publishing that one. Uh, Proximity, I don't think that one is uh, still active. No Quarter is another one. Proximity, Proximity. Another type of loose, proximity. These are mostly from the 90s, late 80s and into the 90s. And that picture again. Uh, so that's everything right now. Um, I'm just sort of logging it because every few days I kind of think, hey, maybe I should put some of those on eBay and start selling them off and get rid of them. So I want to have a record of what, what the collection was at its peak. So uh, that's the peak for right now. Later.